Okay, so we are off to get the grilled cheese burrito from Taco Bell. The grilled cheese burrito in voting this week beat out the fire roasted Philly from Arby's. Now, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, which I always am, I was looking forward to the fire roasted Philly. I knew when I put up the vote, the burrito was gonna win because the majority of people out there like Taco Bell more than Arby's. And I'm one of those people, that's very normal. Now I'm never mad about getting Taco Bell and I'm not mad at all right now. In fact, I'm very excited to get Taco Bell. Taco Bell are just geniuses. You know, this is not a new take. People have said this before, but you know, they have like five to eight ingredients that they just like reshuffle around and rename stuff. And it's all delicious. All those ingredients are delicious. They just move it around, name it stuff that's different. And it gets people like me to come back in and try their new item. So I tried the triple lupa. And I mean, that's, that's not a, uh, you know, that's not really a unique or creative item. That's just a chalupa three times in a row. And they just put it into one thing and I'm like, ah, new item, I'll try it. And, and that's what I'm kind of thinking here. Now, I'd, I don't even know if I've ever gotten any type of burrito from Taco Bell, but I got to imagine it's just kind of like a normal burrito with grilled cheese on top. I, th I think that's literally it. I remember back in the day they had the toasted cheddar chalupa and that was delicious. But again, all they did was slap burnt cheese on the side of a chalupa and it was awesome. That's kind of what I think we're gonna get with this burrito. I think it's gonna be fantastic. I just don't think it's really a high risk item. Now then again, you never know. I had one buddy DM me and said he ate it and after he ate it, he thought he had, he thought he had COVID-19. Very possible, very possible. So, I mean, if someone's saying they felt like they had COVID-19 after eating it, maybe it, maybe it's not gonna be like that, I don't know. Oh, what's new in my life? Not much. I'm really into the new Quinn album. So I got two Taco Bells by me. I got one that's really close. And then I have another one that's a little further away. And I think it's the greatest Taco Bell in the country. The service is unbelievable. The food is so good. And I only started going to this far one when the one closer to me was under construction. And the one close to me, I have a pretty bad taste in my mouth because the last time I got Taco Bell from them, I ordered online, went to go pick it up and they were just closed. They were just fucking closed. And they took, they, you know, they took my money, like whatever, like the charge went through, nothing was refunded. So I had to call Taco Bell customer service to get my money back. Do you know how insane that is to have to call like Taco Bell customer service? And all they think you're doing is calling to like bitch about one location and then maybe they give you a free taco. But I had to like actually be like, hey, I ordered online, went to the Taco Bell and the Taco Bell was closed. Horrible. I mean, it was like I was on hold for like 45 minutes calling Taco Bell customer service. I mean, that's, I, I wanted to just say fuck it. I wanted to just say fuck it. I don't even need the fucking refund. So we're going to the far one. We're going to the one a little further away just because I've never had an issue. I've never had close to an issue with them. They're actually my Lord and Savior Taco Bell. They're, they're pretty amazing. Far Taco Bell for life. This is like such a good Taco Bell that even if the line's long, like I'll get in it, get in the line knowing that I'm gonna get, like get through in a decent amount of time. And the line looks pretty long. Looks pretty long right now. And like fucking clockwork, someone's pulling in right in front of me. Literally the car in front of me, pulling right in fucking front of me. Every time, every time. We got a big line, big line McClintock, big line McGinty. I got no worries. This Taco Bell is very legit. I'm getting a big order. I'm hungry, hungryboy.com. I would love to know what the consensus favorite item is at Taco Bell. If if you had to rate, you know, 10 items, scale one to 10, what would, what would be the highest score like if you pulled all of America? But my favorite item is the Cheesy Gordita Crunch. And the Cheesy Gordita Crunch quite possibly is my favorite fast food item of all fast food items. I rarely switch it up at Taco Bell. The only time I switch it up really is when I do one of these and try something new. My standard order is a cheesy gordita crunch, a chicken quesadilla, and two soft tacos. That's 
my go-to order. Now, every once in a while, if I'm feeling fucking nuts, I'll get a Crunchwrap Supreme as opposed to a quesadilla, or sometimes I'll just add in a Crunchwrap Supreme, and then I'll have suicidal thoughts after I house all of that. The other thing, too, about Taco Bell is they always got, like, the slutty teas. I'm a big iced tea guy, okay? Love iced tea, really do. And you know, if you go to like a Wendy's, maybe even like McDonald's, but definitely like Wendy's is the one that comes to mind. You get a normal tea, you either get a sweet tea or an unsweetened tea. And the sweet tea is just sugar water. And then the unsweetened tea is, I like unsweetened tea. People think I'm like a serial killer for that, but, but you know, it's not like, it doesn't rustle your jimmies. It's just kind of like a safe drink option that I like. But at Taco Bell, they have like the brisk raspberry iced tea or like the brisk mango iced tea. And those are like, you know, those, those rustle my jimmies. Like those are, those are the teas. It's like an Arizona iced tea, you know, or obviously it's brisk. But that's, that's what I like. Like it is sweet, but it's, it's like got that pop syrup to it as opposed to just like a sweet tea, which is like just sugar water. There's a difference. You know, I feel like there's a little difference. Slutty T, big long line, not worried. They always load up the fucking sauce too. I'm a mild guy. I would say a lot of mild and I feel like they just fucking scoop it, drop, bomb it in there. I just had two cups of coffee. It's not the lyrics at all. Person behind me has like very purple hair. Like looks like they just got it done purple. It's very purple. It's not like a dark purple either, where it's like, you know, so dark purple, it could look like black or blue or something. It's like a bright royal, it's like a regal purple. Maybe they're big Taco Bell fans. One of their colors is purple. Maybe you get like a free taco if you have purple hair. Hi there. Um, could I please do the grilled cheese burrito? Um, what kind of iced tea do you have? Can I do mango, please? I got so much Taco Bell. Why are you drinking them slutty teas? You too. All right. Monster bag. Grilled cheese on top. All right. Ooh, slutty tea. Mm. Oh, you slut tea. This one actually feels a little watered down. Told you, man, they hook it up with the sauce. They hook it up. This Taco Bell is unreal. All right, here it is. Nothing too intimidating. Got a little weight to it. You know, it looks good, looks clean. Let's take a look at this bad boy. All right, we got another layer. Got another layer here just to extend the excitement. Whoa. Can you guys see that? There's a glare from the grease on this thing. Oh my God. This thing is sloppy. This is grease ball magoo. This feels like it's like wrapped in Saganaki. It looks like they opud this fucking thing and then threw it against the wall. Presentation, this is not. It's like folded into a taco shape, like a shell. It's greasy as hell, and I think they just tossed a Saganaki on this thing and lit it on fire. But let's see how it tastes. It's all that matters. It's so greasy. It's crazy greasy. My hands are covered. Let's get some mild sauce on this boy. Okay, so it's, it's okay. I mean, it tastes like Taco Bell. It has all the natural like Taco Bell flavors, but it's pretty like mushy. I mean, this thing is like slipping out of my hands greasy. And it's just kind of like a ball of mush of like cheese, meat, rice. It has that like quesadilla crack sauce in it, which is really good. And I think it's supposed to have like Fritos or something, but they're not crunchy. I think there's supposed to be a crunch in here and there's just not, it's just really mushy. It's just kind of like a mush ball. And again, like this is, I'm gonna wake up with acne all over my face because this is like grease heaven. Oh, losing chunks. So again, all the classic Taco Bell flavoring, which is really solid. It's good. It's good. It's not mind blowing. It just feels like squeezed cheese mixed with like the Dilla sauce and the meat. And then I think like the Fritos or the tortilla chips or whatever the crunch is supposed to be in here is just so soaked in moisture that there's no crunch to it whatsoever. Yeah. And 
I feel like they just took like nacho cheese from like the ballpark and dumped it in this thing. They opened the top of it. They're just like, fuck it, hit them with the cheese. It is good. I mean, it's, it's like what I thought. I thought it'd be a little better, to be honest with you. I don't hate it, but I won't get it again. And my buddy said, you know, he felt like COVID after he ate it. I could totally see that. I mean, this is just gonna be a brick of cheese in my stomach. I mean, it was good. I crushed it. It was okay. It was, it was pretty forgettable. Like, grilled cheese burrito, not that creative of an item. You know, it's Taco Bell's specialty to just change one little thing and get someone to buy it. And that's exactly what they got me to do. Um, you know, I hold Taco Bell to a higher standard though. Was hoping that'd be a little tastier, a little less greasy and like less like, blah, like working through the cheese kind of deal. Um, but I did inhale it and it was good, but man, no, I would never, I would never get that again. 6.7. Oh. 6.7, I mean, solid, not bad, not horrible, but I can already feel my stomach kind of like bricking up and I would pass on it. Needed more crunch to it, needed more structure. It needed to be like cleaner. Like it was just a super like, I felt like it was gonna like, like shoot out of my fingers with all the grease.